everybody, it's Lynn again. How y'all doing? Bienvenidos a mi cocina una vez más. Welcome back to my kitchen, everybody. I just got back about 10 days ago from Kansas where I spent the holidays. And like always, my family was so generous with their Christmas gifts. One of those Christmas gifts was from my niece, Cheryl. And it is a Dash compact air fryer. So I've been trying it out and today I want to make a comparison between cooking pot pies. What could be more homey than pot pies? That smell of the pie crust in our kitchen. Today I'm going to try it and compare how it comes out on the air fryer and then on the microwave. I have to admit I haven't had store-bought pot pies for a long, long time. And one of the things that I've learned is that really today, pot pies are made so that you can cook them in the microwave. They no longer have that little aluminum tin on the bottom. So however long that that has changed, that was the last time I've had pot pies until doing some testing for this video. So I hope you'll stay with me and we'll see what the differences are between the microwave and the air fryer. Though the cookbook doesn't have anything in it about cooking the pot pies in the air fryer, from what I've read and what I've seen, the suggested settings are for the same as that you'd use for the conventional oven. So on here, it's 400 degrees, and just to have the time. So this says 46 to 52 minutes. So I'm going to put the timer to 25 minutes. I've already preheated the air fryer for two minutes, so it's already a bit warm. The pot pie is in the basket of the air fryer, and I've added some aluminum foil as a sling so that I can pull out the pie more easily when it's cooked because it will be hot and it's difficult to get down in there with any pot holders. I'll make some holes in the top to release any steam. The temp is set at 400 degrees and I'm going to set the timer to 25 minutes. The timer has gone off. Let's check to see how the pot pie looks. The crust looks really cooked. It does look a little brown around the edges, but just like the recommendations for the conventional oven, it may be better to put some aluminum foil around the edges of the pie before cooking it in the air fryer. Let's check the texture and doneness. Okay, the crust is nice and crispy. As we open up the top, steam is starting to come out. Everything seems to be done. Now one of the things I've noticed in doing other pot pies previously in the air fryer is that the bottom crust does not get crispy. Let's check and see. The bottom crust is not really crispy. It appears to be done, but uh, it doesn't really feel like a hard bottom crust on it. Here we can see the bottom crust. It's still somewhat gooey. It has more of a consistency of soft dumplings or something like that. I do believe that it's cooked as far as actual cooking, but it's just not crisp. Now, um, I'm going to taste it. Yes, the pie is hot, very, very hot, but 
The bottom crust, as I mentioned, is gooey. So we leave the pot pie in the box it comes in, except that we take off the top of the package. And we're going to put it into the microwave. Uh, the instructions say from five to six and a half minutes. I'm going to put mine in at about eight and a half minutes. The pot pie has been in the microwave for eight and a half minutes. And as you can see, the top is brown and the juices are starting to come out of the top. I'm going to leave the pot pie to rest, as it says, for five minutes. The pie from the microwave has been resting now for more than five minutes. Let's check out how it cooked. The top is done. It's not real firm, but it is done. The center is all cooked and still very, very steamy. Let's give it a taste. The crust is nice and crisp, both the top and the bottom. I'm really surprised that the bottom cooked as well as it did. And has a very good taste. After checking out cooking the store-bought pot pie in both the compact air fryer and also the microwave, what do we think? Well, it's really one of those cases of having the right tool for the job. These days, the pot pies come in this non-metallic pan with a silver lining, and they're made just to be used in the microwave. And that's why they cook evenly and quickly. The air fryer, on the other hand, cooks from the top. And because the pie fills up almost the entire basket, air isn't allowed to get to the bottom. However, if you're in a dorm room or perhaps a camper and you don't have room for a microwave, the air fryer could be a second thought. The pot pie does get cooked, but even though we can cook the pot pies pretty nicely in the microwave, let's don't overdo it because they do contain a lot of saturated fats. That's why in the coming videos, I'm gonna show you a couple of different kinds of homemade pot pies that maybe a lot more healthy for you that you can actually make and get cooked in the air fryer. Thank you all for stopping by folks today. We'll see you soon. Nos vemos.